damage every single second or every started second to now doing 50 damage every half second. That scales 150 to... It was quite potent, but we'll catch FY bottom lane. There was a rotation here, snowballs ready, and this is probably going to be a first blood. I had shot him stayed in. Fenrir has left that mid lane. He's already had level 4. And you can look for a storm ball now, but he doesn't have too much back. It's caught up by the ice shark. Now they can do a little bit of work here. The snowball held in position by the frostbite. Fender should end up going down, though the trade may come from Super. Trying to finish off 3 3 3. He survives for now, but ends up falling eventually. The Sven lives barely at that. Now Garter on the way out. Edict damage, burning him low. Splitter, not dodged. He'll end up falling too. It's two down. It's going to be three. Q also falling. The first LGD under a Ploxen. I mean, their team fight is great if they get the whole combo, but right out on the back foot, bottom lane, we'll start chasing it on Q. But the snowball's there, it comes crashing through hits too. Now the shards? No, oh, not enough. Soul Subs will get that first kill. And with the frost arrow stacking up, they need a little bit more to make up for this. Three, three feet on the way out. Soul Subsumption, he's short on mana, 20 short. Fenrir will end up falling. Maybe never drop the Chronosphere. And I'll continue chasing here. I don't know if he gets in range for anything. He needs two. They have to defend this top tower though. If there's no reinforcements coming in, this is a level 3 edict and no glyph available. They could kind of just make quick work of it. Now they're going to rotate around with the birds as well. Yeah, this tower. Or try to get in close. Are they going to go for a storm ball? No, just edict to bring down the tower. Well, these are. Or, or, easy. 333. Jumps in. <laughs> I think another player whose name starts with 3. Well, snowball, and it do, apparently does go into the crowd, so. Mechanics question answered. But it comes at a trade. Big coil from Ice Ice Ice. We'll finish off one looking for a bit more. These familiars are coming in from the backside. Sniping out the sigil. Or you're just not gonna win. Well, it's funny because he buys the Midas and then right at that point they want to go fight. They might get Super here though, Smoke's gonna break, will Time Walk up to the high ground. He actually found two, Super ran into this, then rear caught out as well, Super on one side of the chrono, being focused, but the familiar come through, then the three hero storm will completely turn the initial engagement, still they take through this, the pill off the visage, the trade there is the Razor, and now 3-3-3 may drop as well, brought low, finished off Fenrir, trying to chop wood, but Maybe chops him and ends up being a 4 for 3 exchange for 3 3 3. The Stormbolt will find them and they get caught up with the splitter. All up there, the Stormbolt keeps him alive though. He's going to be rolling back into this fight relatively soon while damage is stolen by the Razor and they get caught in the middle of the familiars. And the wall is dropped to try and cover them. The Walrus punch on the Fenrir, but the Sven stands strong. He's beefy, man. I'm going to pump you up, he says. So good 3. You don't try to take this fight, you don't try to take any fight for LGD. Unfortunately for them, they're kind of wrapping around the wrong way. They might find Super now. Oh, now they're gonna find Ice Ice. He's totally dead. Ice Ice Ice. Walrus punched up in the air. Will end up going down. It's a two hero storm bolt to turn this. Fenrir caught out now in the Chronosphere. Making decent damage, but another good flitter will slow this one down. It's just not enough, though. They still end up losing two. Super now may be caught out as well. They finished the Crimson Guard pretty much. He's bought up the recipe for it, the Buckler recipe as well. Just needs that chainmail. They managed to execute it properly. Uh oh, Fenrir. Totally out of position here. Oh no, got the two hero stun again. And they pop the Crimson Guard. Do Vici Gaming actually want to fight? It looks like they want to disengage. Maybe wait for this one to end. The Familiars come in. They're going to get cleaned up by the Razor. Now the four hero coil. And Crimson Guard is down. They'll look to re engage. Super caught out on the front side of the Ice Shard. Still end up falling. Fenrir a bit too squishy to go in. And Black will make his retreat. It seems they're able to tank through the damage. Now they snowball forward looking for more. FY, third on the list, should be falling here. Gets back by maybe. Walrus punched up in the air. And it really did help. And generally, what we see teams do is they'll sacrifice lives to get towers. But towers are a bit harder to take. I'll told that Q is going to get picked off top lane. Most likely by double damage. Coil, oh, I'll whiff it. Whiff that coil. They got Walrus punched by Garter. The turn might come down with the ice shards. Meanwhile, 3 3 3 also gets caught. Beachy do find some isolated heroes. These are big openings for them. Q will drop as well. And meanwhile, though, Shrek gets a double kill. Maybe now joining the fight, though. He's got a BKB. And he's got a Chronosphere if he wants to pop it. It will be just on Super. Actually catching the Familiars as well. But Race, there's no mod for his ultimate, so he can't even get it off. It's a big teamfight ability not to have right now as he gets caught up. There's the smoke. This one needs to work. I think they have like 10 minutes cooldown now on the next one. Yeah, pretty much exactly 10 minutes. And it didn't work. Well, well vacuum on the Fenrir, but it's only the support to men. He gets caught up, but they're gonna follow this up. Ice 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 leaping in. He got off the coil there, but it doesn't seem to matter. They're fighting under the coil for the time being. Garter, will he try to snap? And he's just running around in circles, trying to survive, maybe. Hasn't even used the chrono yet. FY getting caught out as well. They're gonna end up losing three heroes black. Will survive for the time being while Ice 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 orbs 
and he jostles to it to the north, catching LGDs into free attacking. He'll kill two heroes. But it's just not happening right now. Oh, Super's been caught out bottom lane. He doesn't have a BKB here, he'll be back if they have a preserve at least one disable until support arrives and it comes down to the snowball. Then the walrus punch, Super gets dunked. Crystal made it all with channel. I may end up falling here as well. Taking a lot of damage, the continued pursuit of familiars are arriving to try and turn this. And it'll be too late. I'll end up going down. Meanwhile, on the top lane, maybe. Trying to duke it out with Fenrir. He'll pop his Pharaoh Spear and just go to work on this man. And that's Fen will pop at the end. Now, chasing the. the and the familiars are just deep pushing the mid lane. Constantly stopping the creep wave, coming out and. Auto attacking. Black and does not have buyback to get killed right now. Maybe he's gonna get caught out, but who's really caught? It's Black who tries to Mantis style. Walrus punched in the air. Now the Chrono Spear can come through. Maybe he doesn't finish him though. Okay, there they go. They get the drought kill. Maybe we'll end up living. Ice Exercise so pursuing him through the tree line, but he gets the kill. It's a huge streak that he just did, and that's gonna be a big swing as well the other direction. And that void had a streak. The Drow Ranger just had farm. So the bigger kill going the way of Ichi Gaming. A two for two exchange. They look for a bit more here. TP's oh, out. No. Koyo will break. If Black is not caught in the crow, because it's pretty much all about Black at this point. They've invested so much farm into him, and if if he's not caught and he gets to attack, even if they get a crow on two or three heroes, oh uh, Black, oh uh, caught up bottom lane. This time he's buyback, but just having to run back to the Roche pick could be costing me. While on the top side, they've gone on the three, three, three. He gets back that ice, 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 extra bounty from earlier, making the difference here. I think the streak of the void simultaneously the finest fan kill in the river, but it's really about the racks from each. They claim one lane. On the back of the Ice 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 X. Familiars will be finished off now by the Razor Bags. So Black's gonna come into the fight. If he dies again, it could be incredibly devastating. The Void Lane Store, they want the Chrono Spear to lock down the trap, and now the Silence can come out, bringing a lot of these heroes low. Nearly finish off the, the, the Tuscar, but I can't quite do it. Look at the crits for Black, but he gets vacuumed back towards the Void. He's not really hitting hard. He's getting chain stunned. They'll lose the Drow. Oh no! It's not even the biggest streak, but dead for 110 seconds. Ice 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 has got a stall. It's far dead, but it feels like so. <laughs> Start on two. This might be a big turn, but they're losing the puck. He drops quickly. And they may drop Fenrir, so it's going to be another two kills dead away to LGBC Day. <laughs> Their effort to contest. They don't have the void, though. I. I'm not sure what's the better choice right now. I think the Hex is really good, but they already have Oh, maybe he got so. painted! He got painted in mid lane! They come up with the snowball! There's a walrus punch here, maybe he's just gonna let himself die. He doesn't match the Papa Cheese and time will go down, now he buys back. And 3 3 they will try and punish the aggression. He dropped his wall, the Sheepas comes in, Razor is here, Void returns, he goes for the stun, he can also go for Black! I don't think he saw that he caught him! I don't think he realized he caught Black! Oh, that could have been the game! But now the familiars go. The rest of the team could probably clean up. There's and they're the gonna look for the jump in. Right There's the hex onto the razor. But Chronos here can come and completely bait it. They blinked out. It caught nothing. Ice 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 will go down. But now they're in trouble. They didn't get the drow. There's a stun on three. The back pulls the drow ranger towards the fight. But she stands strong with a BKB. She actually BKB dots with that. So she just fights her way through it. And yeah, this is all going to shit for them. Black leads them up quickly. What an amazing dodge away from that Chrono Spear. Oh, he might even get the Razor here. He's uh, really he should. Yeah, he'll end up getting the kill. Gets the double. Now straight onto the base. Black is forced to retreat by the buyback of the Razor. He looks to come back in now. And he gets vacuumed up to the high ground. Can they focus him though? He throws out the Gust. He continues to work on the Razor. But now the Dark Sea is close to him. Unfortunately, even without the bonus agility from the old Black still hits hard. And the Darks here just can't fight against him. This might be it, Sin. Just like that. In one instant, it's all over for LGDC deck. No void, with Chrono, GG. Aw, oh, Blank is gonna make quick work of this page as well. Yeah, that's that blink out, man. I mean, the that's big thing about this is that it's kind of like in game number one, where maybe plays a really great game on the Ember Spirit in game number one, and in game number two, he plays a great void as well. But the moment he makes one crucial mistake in a team fight, the whole game just ends straight away. First, he got caught off earlier and had to use his buyback, and the second time, the Chrono whiffs, and that's it. Vichy doesn't need any more than that, even though they lost the Puck in the opener of that fight, I think. Black was untouched for one fight, and you just saw he was on the distance, he hit for five seconds, three heroes died. And there was nothing, no way of coming back there. Maybe he didn't have buyback, he already used it before when he got caught, and even ends with a cheese in his inventory. Just the triple hexes, at the end of the day, they make the difference. 
Well, send. This leaves us with.